Good morning, everyone. Today's Psalm of the Day is Psalm 37. I'm reminded of the singer-songwriter Sting, who once wrote a song called All This Time. It's a bit of a sad song about the death of his father. He describes two priests coming round to his house to read the last rites and quotes something he hears them read from the Bible. Blessed are the poor, for they shall inherit the earth. Better to be poor than a fat man in the eye of a needle. And as these words were spoken, I swore I hear the old man laughing. What good is a used-up world, and how could it be worth having? It's a misquote, of course. Jesus actually said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And I think Jesus may have had this song in mind as he said those words. What does it mean to be meek? Well, meekness isn't weakness, as the saying goes. The opening verses of the song, I think, give us an answer. Trust in the Lord and do good. Take delight in the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Be still before the Lord. It's the opposite stance to the wicked who are filled with power and pride. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy. The problem is that people motivated by power and pride seem to succeed in life, don't they? They seem to be the ones who are getting ahead and growing secure. But David's advice is clear. Don't fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. It's so easy to become envious of people who seem to be successful even when they have no thought of God. And it's also easy to become angry especially when you don't seem to have much in comparison. But David tells us to take the long view. In a little while, the wicked will be no more. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. That image of the meek inheriting the land is repeated six times in the song. And in David's day, if you owned land in Israel, it was a means to financial security to peace and prosperity. And the promised land, after all, was a gift from the Lord to his people. Israel inherited it by God's grace and not by their own power or merits. So it's worth pausing to ask the question, where am I placing my hopes for security? Do I tend to be fretful or envious of others who seem to be successful in their powerful careers or plentiful possessions. And then we need to hear Jesus announcing the values of his kingdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. It's interesting that Jesus substitutes the word earth for land. You see, he's not promising a strip of land in the Middle East. He's promising so much more. As Peter says, But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, where righteousness dwells. And this is the good news for the meek. Not for those who serve themselves, but for those who take refuge in him. So, Let's begin by praising God this morning. Thank you, Father. In your great mercy, you've given me new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade, kept in heaven for me. It's a brand new world with the Lord and it's definitely worth having. Amen.